A lot of people have asked me how I managed to make this impressive travel map that you can drag around, zoom in and out, and you can click every single element with detailed description. Today I will show you how to make this kind of travel map in under 10 minutes, and you can also plaster it everywhere and annoy every single person in your social circle like I do. Let's begin. First you need to be on Google Drive. Given that you have already clicked the like button beneath this video, you must have a Google account. So you can go to Google Drive and click on top left which is new, and then go down to the menu and select more. In the menu, click on Google My Maps. And in the newly opened window, you're going to find your personalized map ready for you. Go to the top left and change the name. I prefer something that brings me joy. And just like a lot of daily things, such as licking an onion or understanding my joke, we are going to work with layers. Let's give ours a name and don't forget, you can only get 10 layers at most, as our current technology does not support any more than 10 layers. So if you're watching this from the 27th century, maybe human intelligence has advanced far enough for you to get probably 15 or 16. And down in the bottom, you can change how the base map looks. For example, you can change it to the satellite view, and I call this the bourgeoisie. But let's change it back. And now let's create our first point. We can use one of the tools here, or we can just directly search anywhere. Let's say I want to depart from Los Angeles. And voila, I have a pin that moves with the map. And if you don't want the description with Google Maps, you can simply just remove it and add your own description. As for my destination, London, I want to put it at a specific place. So we can use this marker tool and place it exactly where we want it. So let's say here, and let's give it a name and everything is done. And to connect the two dots, let's just use this line tool. And you can see it automatically curves along the great circle route. Because apparently on this God's green flat earth, gravity works in mysterious ways and bends everything. Trust me, I studied hard when my PE teacher substituted for the science in grade 8. And let's give it a name as well and a relatively realistic description. And now we have it, two points in a line that looks like a very beautiful flight. Let's add a driving route. For example, I want to go to the beautiful English town of Fingering Hall. Let's create a new layer that is a driving route and then type in London. And you can see our previous point automatically is populated to the search field. And for the destination, just type in anywhere in the world and it will automatically connect the two with a driving route. And just like my resume, everything here looks a little bit monotonous and boring. So let's spice it up. You can go to any item and click on the paint bucket. And now we can change its color and the pin. Let's just say LA is a yellow stroller. And then we make London a green alien. And finally, we give Fingering Ho a yellow fish for no particular reason. And on the driving route, you can drag any portion of the route onto any other town you would like, and the route will adjust accordingly. And you can add further stops as well. For example, our road trip eventually extended to the beautiful little town of Slutso Lane. And you can see we got it right here. And as for the flight, of course you can change its color, its thickness, and even upload a photo or two. For example, I uploaded a photo of this panda sitting in economy class. And let's just add another photo that brings me joy. And voila, you have the two photos and you can even scroll between them. And finally, the most important part, annoying other people with your mediocre life accomplishments. Every map is set default to be private. So you need to change it by clicking on the share button. And down there, you can control anyone with the link, can edit or can just view. If you don't want other people messing with your masterpiece, just click view. And then you can copy it and go to your favorite social media website or use it as your pickup line. And surprisingly, 30% of the time, I do not get blocked immediately. So I would say this definitely works. And if you want to embed this map onto your block site that you have not touched since 2006, you can also click on the three dots on the top right and in the drop down menu, select embed and it will generate an HTML code. And this is how you make a shareable and customizable map using Google My Maps on Google Drive. And if you're interested, I have included my personal travel map down in the description below. And if you want to see more Shrek memes disguised as travel related content, please click the subscribe button beneath this video. And I hope you have a slightly above average day. You call these things chips? Instead of crispity, crunchy, munchy, crackerjack, snack and nibbler, snap and crack, pop, Westerpool, Chester, Shy Shy, Queen's lovely, jubbly delights. That's rather a bit cringe, innit, bruv? <laughs>